you were mentioning earlier the different kinds of um, niches for some of these download mm -hmm. and streaming sites. Yeah. What, what are you seeing out there? Because obviously you had to do some research to mm -hmm. see what, what else was uh, happening. Well, independent films uh, like Trouble the Water uh, or like any of these uh, new films that are coming out, uh, the, we talk a lot about niches simply because with internet marketing, you can really get uh, the best bang for your buck, for mm -hmm. your very small buck, by targeting specific audiences. Mm -hmm. um, we saw a film the other day, The Way We Get By, which was about uh, this group of people that meets the troops in Maine. The greeters. The greeters, that's right. The Agent Maine greeters, greeters yeah. in Maine, Bangor, Maine. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, meeting American troops as they come in and out of the airport. And they uh, have this wonderful opportunity to market to military families right. um, and uh, to to people in Maine and to people who have been in Bangor, to lots of other... And people uh, who are concerned with age issues, too. Yes, what, absolutely. What this film, even more than just being about greeters, is about yeah. is about uh, what happens when you get old that's and how right. you survive and what, what, what gives meaning to your life. Gives meaning to your and life. And certainly that's what the soldiers are doing, too. Yes. So it weaves themes very subtly yeah. with careful observation and patience. Yeah. Not your, you know, blockbuster, yeah. but, but a really but interesting meditative film. That's typical right. Typical of the kind of thing that that indie films do. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. um, fewer explosions, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and perhaps and so a little more thought. So you're talking about the range of their marketing possibilities. That's right. Yeah. So for films, for indie mm -hmm. films, it's important to sort of understand what niches you can target your marketing at, and mm -hmm. to go specifically for those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. And then there's the whole. Uh, you know, we were both on that panel for that film, yeah. and then we saw each other at the do-it-yourself conference that's right. today. <laughs> and that whole idea of uh, social networking mm -hmm. is um, not just a way to market films, but right. it's a whole new way to think about the creation of your product, that's if you right. want to call film product. That's right. Um, are you seeing any of that with the films that you're getting? Are people also reaching out to social networks and doing their own page, you know, their MySpace page and their Facebook page. Are there ways to do that? Mm -hmm. Yes. You see? And in fact, that's one of the things that we're going to start soon on our site mm. is a whole area of the site that's dedicated toward helping filmmakers understand how to use these new tools. Um, a lot of filmmakers are the types of people who are very focused on, they have a vision, they have a story to tell, and they have a vision of how that story is going to come across in a visual way. And once they've created that, they're, they're a little bit lost. Not all of them. There are some, like the ones at the DIY conference we went to, that are also very savvy business people and very um, tech savvy as well, understanding these social networks and the new tools on the Amazing internet. Amazingly mm. so. It's, Amazingly it's, and so. it's generational too, I think. Yeah. Because the next night I went to a more traditional ah. documentary conference and the, think, the thinking, the mindset Absolutely. was not even in the same ballpark right. as the do-it-yourselfers. A, right. a whole other sense of what a, what a film how a film legitimizes itself or gets itself into the world. Yes, yeah. yes. But I think that is actually more typical of independent filmmakers, even some of the, the younger independent filmmakers, is that they, they, aren't, they just don't think in marketing ways. Mm -hmm. They tend to be creators more than business people. Um, so what we're trying to do is to put together some... Uh, some articles and some links to other sites and some podcasts on how they can use some of these tools to market their own films. And I'm surprised that the mainstream press hasn't really gone to this yet, hasn't understood it yet. I think it's very hard to understand. Yeah. And a lot of the mainstream press are public writers that are a little bit older. That's right. <laughs> and, they, and they only know that one model. Yeah. So what they tend to focus on is Aaron Crumley or uh, you know, four-eyed monsters yes. because he had his podcasts and they were very cute and wonderful and he's a yeah. savvy guy yeah. and really knows what he's doing. Yeah. And Head Trauma, oh, um, that filmmaker amazing. is remarkable. He yeah. made a lot of money with that film. And then maybe Joan Swanberg with Hannah Takes the Stairs and, mm -hmm. and his wonderful films. But that's what they seem to focus on rather than this very confusing, uh, diverse world of other independent filmmakers, which is, I think, where things are going. Yes, I think so, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's, you brought up an interesting point about filters. Mm -hmm. uh, I think filters are actually going to become even more important in this age of Internet distribution mm -hmm. because with so much content available, once our, uh, our audience, our market begins to grow, once more people are downloading films from the Internet and interested in independent films, there is going to be this question of how they decide which films right. to watch. So another very important thing for, 
for indies to do is to go through as many sort of gateways or filters as they possibly can. Um, go ahead through the film festival market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go to as many film festivals as you can. Get some reviews. Get some critics. Get reviews, looking. absolutely. Outside ideas. As many as you and, can. And perspectives on what you've done. That's right. Yeah. And there are also certain places you can go. Um, Our Stage is one example. There mm -hmm. are websites where you can go and have your film sort of rated by different people um, and filtered in different ways. Any site that has a uh, recommendations filter as well so mm -hmm. that they can tell you, oh, if, if you like this film, then you're likely to like some other film. Those are always good. Any sort of filtering you can do in reviews, even just customer reviews, yeah. uh, is are very helpful. Are these films likely to be on um, internet, internet Movie Database and Rotten Tomatoes, or don't they... Is that a filter that's too too? Oh no, high? you can definitely. It's all there. You okay. can go through those as well. Yeah, <laughs> being on IMDb is yeah. another great thing, mm -hmm. which I think mm, partly why it's great is because the average person does not think of IMDb as being a site where you can just go on and say you have a movie. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that you can. You can just go no, on. No, you can't really. You, they it's, it's, they ask a lot. They of do. Questions. They ask they really a lot of questions. Know the the layers that are, have gone into your movie, that's the production, right. where you're from, how long it is. Um, that's right. Every person that's in the movie, they want a list of all of that. Yes. You can't just... Right. You can't go on film. with a YouTube video. Mm. No, um, right. But if you do, if you are an independent mm. filmmaker with a real film, uh, then you can have an IMDb page. And the, and, the, and the comments for those films are not... Um, you have to write a certain number of words. You have mm -hmm. to put the English language together in more that's than right. two sentences in order to which, make a comment. Which is good. Which is wonderful. That's right. You yeah. should be able to, because again, it's this idea of filtering and recommending mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. people need in order to have information that will help them to understand whether they should watch this film or someone else's film. Yeah. And working our way back into uh, Trouble the Water, yes. which is very much this aesthetic, but it's playing here at the Coolidge Corner. Yeah. And so there still is the movie theater. The, so, absolutely. You know, So that, I think, is one of the great filters for people getting together and discussing that film and having yes. it be a common conversation among the people in the public. Yeah. You know, because even even if those films are good and everybody's watching something different online in their living room, mm -hmm. that's great. But the public conversation happens in a movie theater. Yes. Still. And hopefully. Hopefully, that's right. Well, I. Well, your movie theater may be your living room after a while. Parlor, <laughs> parlor screenings or that's home right. concert screenings. That's right. I was just thinking about. Yeah, yeah. I have friends who do <laughs> that. That hasn't for started musicians. yet, but that's bound to but happen. I think it is yeah. going to happen, mm -hmm. and I think that's an, another great tool that people can use. You know, the reason that social networking works is because people want interaction. Mm -hmm. They want that interaction as though they're going to a movie theater mm -hmm. and they're going to meet the filmmaker. People love to meet the filmmaker and ask them questions. And although using the internet is a few steps away, of course, from having live interaction, there's still this ability with independent film to reach out to that filmmaker, to ask them questions, to hear their story, which you don't get with Hollywood. Mm -hmm. That's right. Great, Anna. Wonderful. Thanks yeah. for coming down. Oh, absolutely. Really it's been my it. pleasure. Yeah, so check out superindies.com and Super Indie Films. Super Indie Films. That's I'm sorry, right. Super Indie Films. And be sure to see Trouble the Water, even if you uh, have to rent it or you know, yeah. Fantastic. You get it. It'll be at the film. Coolidge for a little bit while longer. All right. And we'll see you at the Coolidge. <laughs>